Although Roma are the largest ethnic minority in Europe, they still experience high level of racism and have to deal with many societal issues. Also, Roma are being represented in a very stereotypical way in the media and art world. The Roma theater has more than a century long past with active professional theater groups in many European countries, but unfortunately they are still hardly known. The Roma Heroes Theatre Festival initiated by the Independent Theatre Hungary is the only international Roma theatre encounter in the world, which have been organized in every year since 2017. Some of the present artists and their work are introduced in our series. Today, my guest is Tamás Szegedi, the director of the play called Camille Anger, and Marton Illés, the writer of the play, who will also do some translation during this discussion. So, hi, guys. How are you? Hello. Hi. Fine. <laughs> Good to <Okay>. be here. <laughs> My uh, first question would be, Marci, could you please summarize very briefly what the play is about, who and what inspired you by writing it? So the play Camilla and Girl, uh, which was presented on the second uh, uh, festival, uh, was inspired by uh, real stories of uh, Roma uh, youngsters who participated in workshops based on the plays of the first festival. Uh, and in this workshop, they focused on their uh, heroic stories of the dramas and their own heroic stories and the stories of the heroes of these young people who live in Hungary and Belgium, because we also had workshops there. And uh, it was important to uh, put together different uh, real stories of these young Roma people. And this way, uh, we thought to, to build an imaginary character, the chameleon girl, who is like an average uh, teenage girl but with very special uh, superpower that she can go to the minds of their of her relatives and friends and uh, relive the experiences of her uh, grandparents. And this way, uh, through one, uh, one character, we were able to present very different stories, also in history and geographically and socially. So that's how it started. Thank you. Do you have a favorite part in the play because it was challenging or because it's close to you? And it's a question also to Tommy. Um, thank you for the question. Uh, but if you want to say something before, you can. If you want to think, <laughs> meanwhile. Okay, so it was. Uh, uh, we started to do this uh, story based on the existing stories, but we still didn't have the end of the story because uh, this uh, teenage girl shares a lot of story. And then we went to Belgium and we also were supposed to use the stories which we meet there. And then there was a girl who uh, shared her own story that she went to school and she became pregnant and she decided to keep the uh, baby and to leave the school. And uh, as we met this, uh, this story, we saw that it should be like the end of the, of the play, which is like a very uh, usual problem or, or challenge of uh, young, uh, young girls, even Roman and non-Roman girls, that they are pregnant and during their studies and what are their decisions. And we don't want to say that it's a good decision to keep the baby or to continue the study but we wanted to uh, put in focus that you have to make your own decision based on your own values, whatever they are. Um, and my, my favorite part of this uh, job or this, uh, uh, of this period when, when I uh, directed this show, uh, I, I think <clears throat> that was the most great challenge <clears throat> uh, to to di directing a show with just one person. I had uh, some experience earlier to uh, to make uh, theater performances with three, four actors, 
uh, or sometimes more. Uh, but that was the first time when I uh, made a show with one actors only, one actor only, and uh, it was it was a great challenge for me, and that was a great challenge uh, for Amelia Lovash too, who is the actress of the show, because uh, that was the first uh, monodrama for her too, and for me too. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we wanted to work together for a long time uh, with Emilia, um, also 10 years. Uh, so it was a great, great uh, uh, chance to work together. And I think that, that, that was the most uh, uh, important, the, the most big challenge. And of the story, uh, my, my favorite part of the story uh, when, when, when the, when the old man in Amelia's life, the Camilla girl's life, this is the beginning of the of the story. Um, he he's re 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 reminding uh, in, into the past, and it was a great uh, uh, challenge to how to directing this situation uh, with one person in, in the same uh, uh, area on the stage to jumping in the time to the past to the future to the present so it was it was a good uh, practice and it was uh, it was it, it was good to thinking on how, how we do it so we don't want to want it to use many furniture uh, on the stage. We, we only wanted to use some usable uh, uh, boxes to the, uh, to the, to the stage and, and uh, just uh, vis visual art uh, in the background uh, to, to make the feelings of the scenes. Thanks. So my next question would go for both of you, actually. Uh, could you please share a few sentences about your artwork? What are your principles uh, when creating art? Uh, what is your art creed? Okay, so what I think is very important for me and also for independent theater in general to, to show like different perspectives so we never want to show just one perspective or to be a tool of just one uh, ideology, but to show like that uh, life is very diverse and also Roma communities and majority can be very diverse and uh, all decisions can have uh, different aspects, but it's also always important to, to show the values, but also the disadvantages of any, any situation. So not to paint black and white uh, situations. Maybe this is important for me. Um, for, for me, uh, mostly the same uh, as independent theater and personality. Uh, if, I, if I work as a director or, or if I work as an actor too, um, I, I, I would like to work uh, not just for the art, uh, I would like to do it for the message of the show, for the message of the story. This is uh, what, 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 what is the most important to me. So I, I, I think uh, I, 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 I would, 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 wouldn't able to uh, work as an uh, actor uh, uh, at, at all in my life because uh, I don't want to st uh, uh, stay on the stage just because I I would like to be an actor to uh, celebrate the actor. Uh, I, I would like to be an artist who wanted to say uh, something for the, for something for general. Thank you. Uh, I would go with this on um, and it this question is to Tommy but Marcy feel free to add uh, your thoughts if you if you would like to. 
So tell me, what does Roma theater mean to you? Do you consider it necessary for Roma uh, theater makers to have their own institutions? Um, for, for me, the Roma theater, it means uh, um, there is some Roma people in the, in the theater group, uh, in, in, the, in the artist group. Um, it, is, it is a good if the writer or the director is a Roma, but it not uh, uh, so it, it, it not, not, not it, it is not the most important. For me, the uh, first uh, uh, first important the, the the message, as I said earlier, uh, how it works for for uh, if if it goes from Roma community the story, the message, and work together Roma and non-Roma artists. Uh, this is the uh, ideal uh, for me. So uh, I, 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 I prefer work uh, uh, mixed Roma and non-Roma uh, artists uh, uh, together because uh, it for me, it's closer to the mainstream uh, uh, theater artist or or uh, any any artistic way. So uh, I I I I will be happy. Uh, I will be glad if it uh, uh, if if Roma theater uh, goes to the mainstream uh, uh, theater or, or R R Roma art goes to the mainstream art. So I think. It's uh, most important to to look uh, to the to the performances, to the stories, to the artistic uh, as as, a, as an as an art uh, uh, art object, art story, art that uh, the theater play, not uh, just uh, Roma uh, art, not not Roma theater play. At first, the Camille girl, for example, is a story. Uh, about a girl, about a young girl. Um, so it can be uh, for, at first uh, a woman story. And uh, this is the second way if I thinking on this girl is a Roman girl in Hungary. But it, it's uh, at, at first it can be a girl story. Okay. So it's uh, the the best way if it uh, goes into the uh, into the mainstream uh, artistic. Way. Thanks, Marcy. Do you have something to add? Yeah, just very shortly, maybe that this is uh, important. This culture mainstreaming, so not to keep the Roma art in a culture ghetto or slum that it's only presented at Roma events or in different places and uh, we think it's also important to cooperate Roma and Roma people together but it's important to have a decision-making uh, uh, position Roma people like director or writer so not just uh, actors not just uh, but also the ones who figure out the whole concept and story. Thank you. I think it's super important that these points that you both of you raise. Or... Okay, so lastly, my question would go uh, to both of you uh, in general about your future plans or goals regarding the career and also Marcy regarding independent theater. So maybe Marcy, you could start or Tommy or uh, start between yeah. both. <laughs> okay, so regarding independent theater or maybe all this uh, Roma Heroes initiative in the frame of which this uh, retrospective is also organized, it's important to build a bigger and stronger network of European Roma theaters because together uh, all initiatives can be stronger and uh, to build uh, also a uh, uh, visible cultural uh, uh, heritage because the theater dies from day to day but if we can uh, uh, record it and see it also for the next generation it's very important and also to, to start corporations and uh, create new uh, plays 
uh, we always focus and we also, also focus in the future, I think, on social issues. And uh, we are planning to have more uh, use, use plays, so targeting use or children, because we think that this is the target group which can be, you know, raised awareness much better than the adults. So we will do probably this kind of uh, performance in the future, beside our educational work. Thank you. And as a writer, Marcy, in your uh, career or uh, professional work, artwork, because you mentioned independent, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm usually interested in uh, in stories which come next to me, so uh, or which came to me, so I will see. But I am I'm new dramas or work as dramaturg also in other place. So we'll Thank see. You. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Um, in in my plan, I I, I would like to make uh, some educational programs in the in the future. Uh, for maybe for these plays, what uh, what, what about Marx is uh, uh, talking, and I I would like to make uh, make, make, make I would like to make a, uh, a play a story about uh, about my life uh, about uh, my last uh, few days uh, because it was a strong strong period of my life. Uh, so, as an artist, uh, as, an, as an independent artist, I would like to work on this uh, because uh, it, it could be important to me to make my next step in my life. So, at first, I would like to work on my uh, um, past stories, stories of uh, uh, women, women uh, in my life, in my past. Um, and in my in my mind, I would like I would like to make it with uh, another theater group, uh, with a corporation, uh, with the Jubilee Plan Theater, because uh, it could be interesting if I if I talking about my stories uh, uh, from my uh, uh, view, and uh, it would be nice if the other theater group uh, could talking about this story too. But not uh, my point of view, uh, in the, but the, the women's uh, women point of views. So it would be interesting if uh, if, it, if it goes uh, uh, similar, similarly. And uh, in the in the other other uh, plans as I have, uh, it's it's so open. So I can I I, I I try to be open many opportunities in my life. I would like to make a, a theater plays as a director uh, if I if I find some chance to do it. Or um, sometimes I would like to play as an actor too. Uh, mostly uh, the same situation as uh, as uh, uh, Lato said in the, uh, uh, that that kind of theater. Which, which is talks something important uh, topics, uh, which is which is important to me. It talks about uh, maybe maybe make some uh, changes in the in the minds of the, of the people. Thank you. Do you have anything to add that you forgot, but you wanted to say, and then I just didn't let you? <laughs> okay. Then thank you for the discussion. Thank you. Thank you for you. <laughs> and now you can see the performance called Camille Unger, directed by Tomas Segedi and written by Marton Illish. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.